it's time to hop out and to talk about climate change again, which is my passion. So one night when I was dying on bed, I started thinking about what the world would look like in the future. Different scenarios were racing through my mind. Am I doomed to live on a planet suffering one natural disaster after another? Is an alternative possible? Is there anything I can do about it? I'm sure many of you can relate to these feelings. How many of you relate to these feelings? I don't ask of you. 2023 was the hottest year in history, and 2024 will probably be even warmer. According to the World Meteorological, uh, Meteorological Organization, the climate will soon be 1.5 degrees Celsius above pre-industrial levels, which scientists predict will lead to more disruptions in food production, biodiversity and ecosystem loss, and more natural, <laughs> more natural disasters. I'm sure many of you can remember this one. No. Yeah. While most people accept the, the existence of man-made climate change, people don't take meaningful actions to go and combat it. Why? Today, I'll, offer the, I'll explain the reasons and also offer some suggestions that we can all use to motivate ourselves and others to help mitigate climate change. I hope you listen because our planet depends on it. To begin with, according to a Harvard University Business Review research paper, People are unwilling to take action. This is because they overvalue short-term benefits and underestimate long-term effects. For example, it's convenient to, to drive a car or take a taxi. Meanwhile, they underestimate the future climatic consequences of their actions. I'm sure many of you can relate to this too. According to a website called Psychology Today, the second reason is called naive realism. This term describes that people tend to be less vigilant when weather disasters like wildfires, storms, have been far from them. But when people don't experience the fear situations, climate change feels like an abstract concept. As a result, without first-hand experience, they are, they are less motivated to modify their behaviors to, in order to fight climate change. Finally, the last reason is the most common problem. Most, pe most people in the United States, according to a Vox article in 2020, 40% of the people in the, in, in the United States are feeling hope that powerless about the future. And similarly, other people in other nations are also feeling pessimistic about this. People have a widespread of hopelessness. They're, since people don't expect they have a huge impact on the world, and 